I don't usually do these videos is because since COVID my dad has been home working and he's been on Zoom calls 24-7. It's literally driving me mad. But today he went into the office to switch things up. So I figured I would take advantage of this and film a day in my life for you guys to see what it's like to be doing school online. Um, living from home. I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm also a bodybuilder. Weight lifting every day. Just kidding, I have two rest days. My life is fairly interesting. I don't just sit around on the couch all day. So let's get this day started. But first, that's better. Okay, so I practically, oh, the sun needs to focus up. I basically live in gym clothes uh, now. <laughs> There's no reason for me to literally wear any other type of clothing because in a day, the only time I really have to do anything is to go to the gym and um, I can wear gym clothes then if I go shopping or do literally anything else. And that's literally what people only see me now in is Gymshark and they don't think that I ever dress like a normal human being, which I clearly just don't. That's, that's what my wardrobe situation has come to in this weird time. First thing in the morning, drink lots of water, kids. Number one tip, get your water down early so that you just have a start on the day. If you're someone that hates drinking water, um, just chug it. Sometimes I don't feel like drinking water, but um, I just shut up and do it because it's good for you. Next up, we're gonna head uh, downstairs and we are going to make some coffee. So I'll show you the few things I do in a day as an 18 year old bodybuilder. Um, I am training for my next bikini competition. I'm not gonna say the date, but it will be next year. Didn't think this would be my college experience, but it is. And I'm trying to make the best of the situation. So yeah, let's get on with the day. It's also always freezing in my house, so we have fuzzies. I have this adorable espresso machine that I bought myself that I use every morning. Also, remember to take your vitamins, kids. They taste like fruit snacks. What is this, you may be wondering? This is for the froth. So let's grab some milk. I use cashew milk in my coffee. Fill this frother up. We don't need too much, I'm only one human being. I'm not gonna lie, I I had a bit of a caffeine addiction. Um, but since then, I have begun to recover. I did about two week caffeine cleanse. It was some of the hardest times of my life. I literally had withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> I was sick, I was shaky, I had a fever. Well, it felt like I did. I fell, I fell asleep all the time, like just 24 seven naps. It was ridiculous. And it's not like I take like pre-workout and energy drinks and all that. It's literally just the fact of how much coffee that I drink. Just coffee, that was it, just coffee. And today I'm going to be using for my coffee grounds, the brand Coffee Over Cardio. It's a great company. Their coffee tastes very good. I do recommend you check them out. They also have like cool creamers and stuff that I will also be using, so I'll show you that. Um, and if you do check them out, use my code, just 10 fates fit. You want your coffee to be taken to like a whole new level. Coffee Over Cardio. Code 10 fates fit. Beautiful. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I did actually work as a barista before. 
So I like to think that I semi know what I'm doing. We're going to use my Panda Bear mug because it's my favorite mug. The frother part of it is so loud, so this is not gonna sound good. But I set it to cappuccino. Now I just get to sip on my amazing coffee, literally my favorite time of the day. First sip is always the best sip, it just hits different. I am going to sit and just kind of plan out my day with my coffee and just take this time um, to really focus on my thoughts and regaining myself before I start the day and anything I want to accomplish for the day. I will do a devotion, me and my friend Amanda, she goes uh, to college, she actually lives, like she dorms there. And we've been doing devotions together um, every week. So I am going to go ahead and complete mine for the day. We'll do that and then I'll catch you probably for breakfast. Hello again. I'm going to eat breakfast and work on some other stuff. I also did some social media stuff for probably like a half hour or so. So follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I have a fitness account. I do some behind the scenes things for my videos. So I try to put out good content and good tips. Let me know if there's anything you specifically want to see. But my Instagram handle is underscore Faith's Fitness. Uh, yeah, go follow me if you're not already. Also, subscribe to this channel, my YouTube channel, and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. So, yeah. I usually eat, like, as soon as I wake up. Today, since I had the quiet time, like, I got to, like, you know, just enjoy my time a little bit more. But I'll do a full day of eating video if you're actually interested in that. This obviously isn't a full day of eating video, so I'm not going to walk you through everything I'm eating. But misconception that people have about bikini competitors, it's not a dieting competition. Anyone can lose fat. Like, anyone can lose weight. It's a bodybuilding competition. Sculpt muscle onto your body, and to do that, you got to fuel yourself properly. My boyfriend is always very um, surprised by the amount that I can eat. Uh, I think it's hilarious, but yeah, don't be scared of food. It's always going to be there and it's amazing fuel for your body. But I had struggled with that in the past and I've come to a point where I am very, very good at where I'm at. That's why another reason why I love online coaching and personal training because I want to be there for you guys if you deal with that. Like it's an investment in your health. Um, it's something that you'll never regret doing having a coach and be glad that you did it. So I'm going to start doing this stuff. And we have more food, of course, because we are going to be working out in about an hour. So we've got the pre pre workout meal going down. And it's just about the best meal that you can ever have, protein French toast. I have just been doing school today. I've been doing a lot of kinesiology, which is the exercise science. Uh, my favorite subject, obviously. And then we are going to head over to the gym. We are going to crush a session. Uh, we're gonna be meeting a special guest at the gym and yeah, we're gonna have a great freaking day. Going to a different gym than usual. I work for Lifetime Fitness so I can go to any location. Um, but today I'm choosing to go to one that's about a half hour away from my house just because I've never been there and I've heard good things about that one. So I'm gonna go check it out. There's no reason why, you know, 
I'm like on a time crunch or anything and that I need to like rush. So I'm pretty excited to see how that one is. So I'll take some footage there to see how it is. You might be wondering, what were you shaking in that cup? Those are my BCAs. Um, those ones taste freaking bomb. You could definitely get ones that are probably higher quality, but I really just like the taste of those. That's the one by Ghost Lifestyle. Um, that flavor I'm drinking right now is Swedish Fish. And no, this is not sponsored, but I would love it to be. <laughs> Ghost. Yeah. Anyways. rush hour I don't know but it sucks and I have to like I was on the highway and everything and ugh, this is just not it not it I'm hungry a girl is hungry I eat very frequently and it's been quite a hot min since I've had my last meal but we sat at the lifetime for a little bit together and ate some popcorn and talked before we left so um, my shoulders are dead from the workout which means it was a good workout. <laughs> All right, I've got my next meal after my training session and um, it's just, I've got pasta and a protein shake with creatine in it. A big part of my day does revolve around when I train. So I do always try to plan my day accordingly to my training schedule. It takes me kind of long at the gym, like I'll typically spend around two hours there. It's not because I try to do a lot while I'm there, it's just that there's certain things that I have to do in each training session for each day on my split and um, sometimes it just takes me a bit longer or I try to prioritize stretching because um, foam rolling and recovery is super important when you're trying to lift heavy and very, very consistently. I don't work out every day. I have a five day split, so I have two rest days thrown in there. And it's not like rest days where like, it's just like the weekends, like they're thrown in. So right now my rest days are Tuesdays and Fridays. It's really nice having consistent rest days because I know a lot of people that will just keep going until they feel like they need a rest day. And I used to always do that too. But having like a set in stone rest day after you like complete these workouts and then this day's rest day, you do these workouts, this day's rest day, it really helps like mentally to like help you push harder when you are working out because you know like, oh, my rest day is coming up I'm gonna make sure I go ham in this session and you push yourself every time, you know? So that's a good tip I have if you struggle with getting lost in your routine, just to switch it up, you know, make, write it out, write a schedule for yourself. Pretty dark out, which is really weird, but it's like getting wintry. <laughs> Literally Christmas is in like 40 days. That baffles me. So I'm probably gonna watch something and eat and then I'll probably do some more homework for a little bit. I've been editing another YouTube video and doing work for the past hour or so, and surprise, surprise, I am now cooking once again. 
clearly I do a lot of eating and cooking each day. Um, that is actually a very huge part of my days is training, but then also making sure that my nutrition is always on point. So I do have multiple meals throughout the day that I plan out sometimes and sometimes I don't. And I just wing it each day. That is a huge plus that I enjoy with just being home is that I get to make whatever I'm feeling when I'm feeling it. So after this meal, I am still going to have another macro cap, which will probably be some sort of like brownie type maybe pancake thing um just like a big brownie bowl possibly really feeling that but right now I'm going to finish cooking this up and working and working and working and working yay okay so last update of the night um it's like 10 p.m now and i just made a brownie mug cake um, and I'm just going to continue doing some homework and eat this. Honestly, at this point, I should have just made this a full day of eating video, oh my god. Um, but I just FaceTimed some friends that had went away for college, so it was nice catching up with them. Um, but thank you so much for watching my day in a life. It's honestly not too exciting, everything basically revolves around school and training for the competition um prioritizing your meals and everything clearly subscribe to my channel i promise there's more interesting videos um and follow me on instagram at underscore fates fitness uh go check out coffee over cardio use my code ten of fates fit and have a great freaking rest of your day bye